Yo, what's good everybody and welcome back to the UPA, otherwise known as the United Pokemon Alliance. We are in a draft league, yes sir, it is a Gigantamax draft league, and it's week 3 baby, and we are going up against SV Tornado and her Sakura Sylveons. Now she's got quite the team, quite the team to say the least. She has access to her Tornadus Therian, who is a whole threat, very fast, hits hard, yada yada. Haxorus, who is also a threat. Very fast, hits hard, yada yada. Can be choice band, can be choice scarf, could be life orb DD, lumberry DD, and just win a whole game. Will that happen today? I really hope not. Oh crap, I took my glasses off on camera. I will definitely have to censor that. All right, anyways, gotta remember that. Censor intro. Up next, she's got Niddle Queen, who also just kind of clicks buttons against my team. Her top three guys can kind of just click buttons against my team, and I have like certain, I have like a certain like check to like one or two of them but then they put like it's just it's just a conundrum either way she's got next up she got sylveon volcanion aerodactyl uxy mill tank charger bug who she's not bringing glaceon and g max copper raja so quite the cool team she's got available to her i could see some form of mill tank sylveon if she's really scared of dragapult um, otherwise, uh, Tornadus is very strong here. Let's see, Milk Tank, Sylveon, Volcanion can kind of wall Cinderace to an extent. Um, so can, uh, Milk Tank, I guess. Um, but yeah, we got, we got, what do we got? Am I, my six, I think she's gonna bring, what? Milk Tank, Sylveon, Nidoqueen, Queen, Haxorus, Tornadus, Copperage. So I guess no Volcan, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really take too much time in thinking about, like, the actual six that they're gonna bring. This is off the top of my head, like, you know, during the intro. But, um, whoops, why are we saving? We do not need to save, sir. Uh, let's go look at the Pokemon that we are actually bringing today, the definitive six. Boom, we have Ham Sandwich, Specs Ham Sandwich is not what we're bringing. Wait a minute. It's this one. My bad. We never added, we never made it, we never made a team. Uh, do we have a team slot open? We do not. All right, we'll get rid of, uh, this one. Um, but yeah, we're bringing Ch Specs Dragapult just because I want to. I don't want to think too much about this fight. I'm gonna be honest. I really, I didn't really. I I did prep and I didn't prep. I did prep. I'm not gonna lie. I did prep, but not as severely as I should have. Mainly because I saw the team and I said to myself, I go self. It would appear as if Haxorus and uh, Nidal Queen can kind of just win the game. So with that being said. Typically, when I have matchups like that, I like to just go hyper offensive and not think about anything and just click buttons. But I, I did, I, 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 you know, somewhat didn't do that. But either way, we got Specs Ham Sandwich. Love my man here. Uh, Th Thunderbolt, Oko's Tornadus, unless he's mad bulky. Um, uh, Oko's Volcanion as well, unless it's a Salt Vest. Um, Drake and Meteor is obviously for Haxorus. Hex is for when we start hopefully t uh, toxicing everything and burning everything. We can just spam Hex in the end game if he's not if she's not Scarf Haxorus. Um, and yeah, you turn for pivoting obviously. Up next we have Licky Licky, aka Miss Boombalady. Forgot to nickname her. That's whatever. We're about to get the battle going, so I guess we just don't have a nickname on her. It's fine. Um, with Body Slam, Toxic Wish, and Heal Bell. Like I said, we are definitely going for. Um, status, uh, affliction on everybody so that Hex Dragapult can potentially just knock everything out. Um, we are fast enough to outspeed everything, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, Body Slam, Toxic. Body Slam can para, has a 30% chance to paralyze opponents, which is nice. Uh, if we can paralyze Copperage, paralyze Mill Tank, paralyze, I think you can paralyze Nidal Queen. Pretty sure, as long as it's not like T-Wave or an electric move, uh, ground types can be paralyzed, so there's that. Um, wish, uh, in case you want to wish things off, um, we can switch in on Nidoqueen Queen and then wish and then body slam and then get healed and then potentially heal bell if she poisons us, stuff like that. Um, this is also for, um, potential toxic shenanigans from Miltank, Uxie, and Volcanion. Up next, we have six die of the clay doll. Didn't get to, didn't get to use clay doll last week as much as I wanted it to. Well, I should have had toxic on clay doll last week, did not. Now we have it. So we got double toxic, got toxic gang right here. Going strong. Scorching Sands has a chance to burn, which would be great. This is my dedicated Copperage slash Haxwiss switch in. Even though I am Spadef invested, this is also kind of a Sylveon switch in as well. We can uh, Toxic and or Teleport um, in front of it to uh, Teleport gives us a negative priority switch. Um, meaning we'll always go last. So if they swap out first or they go for U-turn first, we'll always go last and we'll get better uh, momentum for that. Um, up next, we're going to have Primarina, a.k.a. Becky, with the good hair, with the with the 
a set that can kind of just 6-0. It doesn't always do it, but it's done it more often than it hasn't for me. Um, and if I can set this up in front of... Ooh, what's going on? Why did... Why did... Why did what's it called just log me out? If I can set up... I can set up in front of Sylveon. I can kind of set up in front of Aerodactyl. Um, if it's not, like... Eh, actually, I should run that calc. But we can kind of set up in front of Aerodactyl. Kind of, definitely set up in front of Sylveon. Maybe set up in front of Volcanion if she's not packing Sludge Wave. And set up in front of a Paralyzed Mill Tank. As well as a Copper Raj who's burned and does not have Power Whip. So yeah, uh, don't really have many setup opportunities, but she's there and I'm going to try it and see how it goes. Up next, we got Go Tanks with a weakness policy. Not rocking boots today, even though I definitely should be rocking boots. But we're not rocking boots today. It's going to be okay, guys. Uh, we just got a lot of attacks to do damage. I was flirting with the idea of running Electro Ball Cinderace, mainly because in Dynamax form... Um, it's two KOs of uh, Volcanion because the first turn I'll set terrain and then the next turn I'll, 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 I'll destroy it. But I don't, I don't, I didn't, I can't, I'm not man enough. I can't do it. And then last but not least, we have Rotomo. I believe I have just enough speed to outspeed non-invested, um, no, to outspeed max speed Mid middle queen. Not timid modest though. Not timid modest. Um, right? Am I, am I just making that up? I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. Uh, Rotomo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. But either way. Uh, this is the team that we're going to be taking on to fight SV Tornado, coach of the soccer at Sylveon. So we're going to get connected with her real quick, and I'll see you all when the battle starts. All right, and we are back. We are searching for uh, SV Tornado, and I'm a little nervous, not going to lie. I'm always a little nervous going into matches that um that I feel a little underprepared for. But needless to say, I think we're still, we got a team that can still win. So let's just go in and click some damn buttons and see how it goes, man. Press A button at the starting signal. Pum, and then I'm gonna take a picture of this girl's team as well. As soon as we load that up, we got the camera ready because this is the UPA where we don't use a layout. So let's find out. Let's find out what she bring. What she bring? I hope. I really hope no no Haxorus. If I could pick one Pokemon, just no Haxorus or Nidal Queen. Both of those would be beautiful. Then neither of them showed up, but I think I think at least one of them will. If not, bo both of them should probably. But like Sylveon's probably. A decent enough counter to, uh... <gasps> no, no hacks resort to no queen. Wait a minute. Okay, we see Aerodactyl, so it's probably, like, lead rocks. Could be lead rocks. Oh, my God. This is beautiful. Oh, man. was probably, like, we could still get messed up by freaking, um, the bird. Tornadus, the mascot. Well, not the mascot. Sylveon's technically her mascot, but Tornadus is her. Um, so I kind of just want to leave with Dragapults. Like, nothing besides Sylveon is scaring me out. I could easily see um, the Aerodactyl lead. Could see it. Could be Scarf Dactyl and want to crunch me. I could see that. I think, you know what? You know what? Claydol don't care about anyone besides Volcanion. And if she leads Volcanion, then I don't know what, what I'm going to do. But, yeah, we're going to lead Claydol, bro. And I think I'm just going to go for rocks. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for rocks. Wow, no Noodle Queen or Haxorus. Bro, when I was... Doing calcs? That's all, like, I died to every single one of their attacks, bro. This is weird. This is crazy. All right, we got, we're here going against Torn. I am recording everything. Hopefully the, the face cam isn't desyncing itself for whatever reason. There's a little bit of a trick I had to do with that. I have to, like, wait. It's weird, though. So they lead off with the Sylveon, which I'm actually supposed to be able to 1v1. Not 1v1, but basically, what we're going to do here is we're just going to fight off a fat Toxic. If she's fast and has Substitute, then that's what she has. But either way, I'm, I'm naturally faster. And we land. Let's go. We get a Toxic on the Sylveon, which is big. Huge, even. About to find out what set this Sylveon is based on what move she goes for. Shadow Ball? Nope. Hard Yawn. you love to see that. So I'm actually okay with this. Not really, but kind of. Because I don't necessarily need this thing to be awake. Like, I could genuinely... Um, I kind of just want to get rocks up. Like, I'm okay with going to sleep. I don't want, I don't have anything else that wants to switch into this. I'm, I'm literally, I could teleport. Let me teleport. Let me not get rocks up. I actually really want rocks up. I really do. But I think the teleport makes way much more sense. SV Tornado. Okay, we can go right out into Dragapult. There's no Thunderbolt switch in. And we can see if this thing is a uh, Assault Vest or not. Do we go Dragapult? I feel like we should, right? Dragapult makes the most sense to Tornadus. Um, 
I feel like it does. I could go Rotom as well. Thunderbolt is knocking you out, though. Unless you Scarf. But if you Scarf, then you can't be, uh... Then you're not gonna knock me out with, um, what's it called? So I'm just gonna go Dragapult. And I should go for the U-turn, because they should swap, probably, into Sylveon. Um, but I'm just gonna fire off a Thunderbolt, man. There's no Thunderbolt switching, technically. Technically, no Thunderbolt switching. We're about to see if she's Assault Vest right now. And I'm clicking Thunderbolt. Let's see if they're Assault Vest. Or she might just be max HP. That's also a set. Let's see. Is that a set? Oh, uh, yeah. Max HP has a chance to live this. So, oh, with Drew. I could have just U-turned. Probably should have just U-turned. But either way, she goes back on to Sylveon. If this is a 2 KO, that's amazing. That would be great. Okay, it's definitely not a 2 KO, but she's still toxic. Now, she does get access to Heal Bell. That is a thing she gets. But I'm just going to go back out into uh, Clay Doll and do the same thing and probably get Rocks up now. Probably get Rocks up now. So she's seen Toxic and Teleport on my guy. Hasn't seen anything else. Her only rocker is Aerodactyl. So, uh, yeah. So it goes for the Hyper Voice. This shouldn't be doing that much. We are spadef for this thing. Okay, good stuff. We do um, tank that somewhat. So I could teleport again. Anticipating anything else in the game. But I kind of just want to get my rocks up now. And see. And then we can see if that Torrent is boots um, when it switches in again. Probably not on this turn if it switches in. But we can see if the Torrent is boots. Or we can see if... Um, she might just stay in Hyper Voice. She does. Okay, cool. So I can probably teleport the next turn. Unless she has, like, rest or heal bell or something. She does have wish. Okay, I'm cool with that. Especially if you wish protect. Because now she's seen all my moves except for my damaging move. She doesn't know what my damaging move is. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that uh, as, a, as a secret. Because <laughs> I'm just going to teleport here now. I think I can safely teleport no matter what she goes for. Um, Yeah. Because if she swap, if she hard swaps, then Sylveon's at half HP, which is beautiful. And if she stays in and just hyper voices, uh, she'll get a wish back, but then she'll be down to like she'll be down by like I think like 25%. So I'm cool with this. I did use teleport. Her wish is gonna pop off. I am gonna calc to see how much um, Dragapult will do with specs. Um, specs hex while badly poisoned. Is doing not enough. So I think I go out into um I think I go out into Primarina and just go for it, man. I'm just gonna go for it. We have a we have a lot of speed in this thing, so we should be faster because we're faster with Clay Doll. And yeah. So we seen Wish, we seen Wish, we seen Hyper Voice, we seen Yawn. Wish, Hyper Voice, Yawn. So if she opts to yawn me here, I'm cool with that. Cause I'm just gonna click sub. Uh, so we sub. We sub first. Yo, I gotta run Snore at Primarina one of these days, actually. I think that would be a cool-ass set to run. He withdrew, or she withdrew, into Torn Eruption. Now, this is why I should have been Toxic. But I think, I think we could potentially win this exchange. Volcanion... In case you got this move, 50. I think this thing does get access to Sludge Wave. So I'm just going to type it in. Um. Oh, wow. So at plus one. Wait. Okay, so at plus one. If she has no speed investment, I will outspeed. Draining Kiss is doing literally nothing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call on though. I don't think this is the right like time to do it, but I kinda also want to see if she's faster or not. Okay, so she is faster. It's a bit unfortunate. So she's either got max speed or just a lot of speed into it. Like she could literally just be timid and still outspeed me, so. But we saw that it broke the sub. I'm now at plus one plus one. Um so I could potentially plus two, plus two. Yeah, actually, I think I call mine again. Like, the only thing I'm scared of is if this thing is specs. But we saw that it's not boots. I don't remember if I saw leftovers because I looked away. I'm just going to call mine again. She did go for Sludge Wave. Let's we'll see the damage real quick. It should be doing 
a decent amount. Wow, that's a decent amount. Don't poison me, thank you. All right, so now we're plus two, plus two. So, like, a part of me believes that that's specs. No, that's not specs. That's not specs. All right, well, now we drain and kiss. It's not very effective, but it's literally our only move. But I think we win this exchange with Volcanion. Barring, like, a crit here. Knock on wood. No crits? Oh, that had... That That wasn't a crit. That just knocked me out. Okay, well... Then I'm just stupid. Um, we go Dragapult. And... Uh, do we go Dragapult? Then we go Dragapult and we... Thunderbolt. Wow, I just threw away Sylveon. Not Sylveon. I just threw away Primarina. So that's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, now she should swap here. Um, definitely should swap here. Probably in the, in the Sylveon. There's no other Thunderbolt switch in, I think. So, uh, I kind of just want to U-turn. Yeah, I'm just going to U-turn. I'm going to call the swap. She should swap, in my opinion. If she doesn't, then I'm kind of stuck. I'm going to have to go Claydol and hope, uh, and hope she's choice locked. But I know she's not. see what she's doing here she might call me u-turning okay she withdrew Whew, let's go uh into destroyer okay this is kind of all right this is kind of all right we get a u-turn off we don't i'm not gonna there's no reason to calc like this damage i could calc to see if it's like defensive or not but it's like too much of a roll in my opinion for it to be like warranted so i'm just gonna go out into uh licky licky um and i want to toxic this thing but i'm actually just gonna fire off a body slam and see what happens Knockoff would be nice here, too, but I don't have that, unfortunately. Uh, body Slam, uh, if it's Substitute, won't break a sub, but, you know. Uh, there's that. Actually, I don't need the Body Slam anymore. I was mainly Body Slamming so I could set up a Primarina, so now I guess I could just Toxic. Let's just do that. Oh, we're just gonna exchange Toxic. I respect it. I have Heal Bell, though. Something you don't know about me. This thing also could have Heal Bell, now that I think about it, actually. This thing could also have heal bow. Alright, we both land. You love to see that. I love love the normal types exchanging toxics. That's so fun. <laughs> um, and we both have lefties too. This is great. It is nice. We're both learning a lot about each other today. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. She could have heal bow. She should have heal bow, in my opinion. I think. I think she would, right? Heal bow just makes sense. Um, Hubo would really suck, uh, put, like, a damper on my plans. So I'm just gonna Body Slam. Heal Bell. She does have Heal Bell. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. So maybe we can Paralyze it here, I guess. That's a thing we could do. We do Paralyze it, so that's cool. Now we'll be faster, but we are still poisoned, so it's a little unfortunate. Oh, man. How do we break through this thing? We need to get Cinderace in. Actually, I can just get Cinderace in now, can I? Pretty safely, I'd say. Uh, I think I want to wish in the heal bell. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, I think I want to wish in the heal bell. Cause she, we are faster now because she's paralyzed, so it's nice. So, okay, she got full parrot. So, we are kind of revealing our set a bit. Um, I think, actually, wait, do I just... Man, actually, Matt, <laughs> Electro Ball would have been nice here, not gonna lie. I kind of just want to go for um, Cinderace into Mill, Tank, Defensive. I kind of just want to go hard Cinderace. I know I should heal Bell. Oh, wow. Cinderace doesn't even do half to this thing? That's crazy. Um. Never mind. Maybe I do just stay in and heal bell. So, we revealed our whole set. So, we, we revealed our whole set, essentially, right? And they go for the body slam. I'm so glad I didn't go out in a Cinderace. I was literally going to do it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm actually so glad I didn't go out in a Cinderace. Wow, I could have. Uh, I could have just got paralyzed there. That'd have been crazy. Um, so I guess they they'd rather be paralyzed than toxic. So uh, I kind of want to wish up Claydol now. Kind of want to wish up Claydol now. This seems weird. This is a little weird exchange we got going on right now. I feel and she misses the toxic. You hate to see that. Bro, Nikki Lego would have went in in this matchup, like literally. Like after Kaparaja was gone, obviously, but man, could have just went in. Um I actually don't know what I do here. Oh yeah, I pass it to Claydol. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, we pass it to Claydol. And then what though? Actually, yeah, we pass it to Claydol and then what? Maybe I'll go, I'll just go, I'll go Rotom and Volt Switch, maybe. Yeah, I think she'd rather be paralyzed than Toxic, which I guess is okay. But I'm a little upset. I wish I would have kept, I wish I would have went for Primarina so early. Because I could go for it right now and it would be nice. I wish I was Nasty Plot Rotom too, that'd be fire right now. Alright, we are going to Volt Switch and then I'm going to bring up Mil Tank to see how uh, bulky this thing is. We did about 30-ish percent. Um, Volt Switch. Oh, wow. So this thing is mad spadef. This thing is mad spadef. Um, we just go back out into... Um, wait, didn't I wish? I did. I think I just wasted a wish. I think I, I, think I just... Yeah, I think I just wasted a wish. Whoops. Oh, well. I think I just wasted a wish, but I think it's going to be fine. They do toxic. I don't know how to deal with this mill tank actually. Like I need to, I need to get like Cinderace in, but I don't want to risk it. It's like body slam is not doing it. But we've seen toxic heal bell body slam. She probably has milk drink. Milk drink just makes sense. Milk drink just makes sense. I'm just gonna go for the body slam. I wish I was the curse set. I had a curse. Oh, she does have milk drink. Okay. I had a curse. A curse, uh, licky licky. Like when I was first making this team, but then I opted against it. But it would honestly, it would honestly have went in right here. It would have went in right here. Just curse body slam. That's all I needed. Yep. I cannot break through this thing. I need to bring Cinderace in, but I can't risk the paralyzing. Uh, man, this <laughs> is, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing here? Like, what are we do? I don't know what we're both doing. We both don't want to swap because it's like, you know, it's just like tough. Okay, she's getting full, she's getting full paired a lot, but it literally means nothing because, you know, it just literally means nothing. I just want to get Dragapult in and drop a fucking Draco. That's what I want to do, but I know she can tank it. Right? I know she can tank it. Uh, I'm just gonna body slam here. I know she can tank it. Oh yeah, she tanks. And I can get paralyzed, which we don't want to happen, so. Oh man, sub DD would go in right here now too, man. Ah. Uh, they go for double toxic, that's cool. I don't remember wishing, but I guess we got it. Bro, we literally, we both literally don't know what we want to do right now. <laughs> Unless she's content with just staying in with Miltank, which she could be. Uh, I'm going to heal bell now. I have no time left. This this battle's going to go to timer. We're not getting anything done here. I think, I think I'm just going to go hard, Cinderace. Oh, no, I'm going to wish up, then go Cinderace, I think. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to click it. And it's going to go for high jump kick. Hopefully she doesn't have protect. Or oh, I'm just going to go for game. Maybe I'll just go for game. Uh, So let's wish. Oh, man. Just heal bell your paralysis away, please, so you can be faster than me. That's all I want. That's all I want. Oh, okay, full parrot. Two turns in a row. But it won't be three, so watch. I'm going to go Cinderace, and she's going to toxic me, and it's going to be upsetting. If she does, then I'll just U-turn, obviously. But, like... This is upsetting. I don't want to do it. 
but I'm gonna. I'm just going for it, guys. This is a bad play. This is a bad play. I'm acknowledging that it's a bad play, but I'm sick of sitting here and just being normal type versus normal type. I should have bought... I should have brought way more offense, bro. I should have. They go for Toxic. They land it. I'm cool with it, man. I'm U-turning. Oh. If she's Protect... If Protect is her last move, then so be it, you know? So be it. We're going to see damage right now is what I want to see. We're going to find out if she's just mad spadef. See, that's... It did 9 damage. It didn't do much, you know? So we're going to U-turn now. Hopefully, uh, she doesn't have Protect. That's all I gotta say. I don't know how I feel about this battle. This has, in theory, been our first real battle. But now it's turning into just us standing there with our normal types. <laughs> so I don't know what's gonna happen. This is such a weird battle. I hope I hope she swaps. Just swap, please. You know you want to. Just swap. Okay, they stay in. Smart. Alright, we get to see no damage whatsoever. This is tough. This is tough, guys. <laughs> Oh my god. Body slam. Okay, smart. Went for the damage. Makes sense. I kind of just want to leave Storm, to be honest. Just start getting damage off. I don't think they'd be Sap Sipper. I think they'd be Scrappy. Because otherwise, this deck gets hardwalled by Sub Pult. And I could have just been... Yeah, okay, they're not. Yeah, they're definitely Scrappy. Damage we did! Get full parrot, please. Okay, no but no milk drink is the, is the big thing here. Oh, that did damage. A crit. You'd love to see it. All right, so a, another Leaf Storm should knock this out. Another Leaf Storm should knock this out. I could Volt Switch anticipating that. I just want to get rid of this thing. I can Volt Switch on anything else that's not Tornadus. So I'm okay. I'm okay with uh, giving this thing up. This should knock you out. I know it's minus two, but thank you. Let's go. Bro, oh my god. This mill tank was going to be so annoying. Good news is we still have our normal type, who's at a decent amount of HP. Um, can still tank at attacks from Copper Raj, so that's good. Um, if she goes Copper Raj right here, I'm just going to stay in and Will-O-Wisp, and that's just all I'm going to do. If she goes Tornadus, which she does, which she can safely U-turn. She can safely U-turn right now. Um, so I kind of just want to go Claydol, because I don't necessarily need it anymore, whereas Rotom can still help me with burning things, but Claydol can also eat hits from, um, from Copper Raj, but it looks like Specs, Thunderbolt, Dragapult might just win here once I get rid of what's it called, so yeah, I guess I don't need Claydol, so to speak. Especially because she hasn't gotten rocks up yet. The Aerodactyl might be like Scarf or Focus Sash. And she goes for knockoff. Okay. Knock off my lefties. I'm dead, obviously. But um, now we go Dragapult and Pressure with Thunderbolt again. Um, I think. Yeah, we go Dragapult and Pressure with Thunderbolt. This thing could be Scarfed, I guess. Um, I could Thunderbolt. I think Thunderbolt is still the play. Because I do still have one Sylveon switch in. Um. No, it's not the play, man. I have to U-turn. I have to U-turn. Hopefully she doesn't stay in. If she stays in, she got me. If she stays in, she got me. Let's hopefully we didn't get got. Okay, woo. We didn't get got. Man, that the the time in between always just gets me. Alright, so we see Sylveon. We are gonna look up Sylveon versus, um, Dr not Dragapult, Cinderace. Because I think I might just go for that, honestly. Powerball does 66 to 78. I'm just gonna go Cinderace, man. And just fire one off. To max HP, we do, we do, we we do enough. It just the max defense, we don't. Yeah, actually no, max defense, we still it's a roll. So 
I could just fire off a Pyroball. I could also just U-turn. Um, I think U-turn is more safe, because they should probably go Tornadus. Uh, not Tornadus, I mean, uh, the, the Water Fire type. So I'm just going to U-turn. They should go Water Fire type. They can't get rid of Sylveon this early. So we are just going to keep U-turning around her team. Hopefully, and she does go the fire Water Fire type. So this is good for Dragapult. Because I think I can just go Rotom and Volt Switch. Rotom's Volt Switch should be doing enough to this thing. To, uh, we're just going to assume your bulky Volcanion. Or no, offensive Volcanion, my bad. Um, Volt Switch, yeah. Volt Switch is always knocking this thing out. So yeah, we just Volt Switch. Now we just Volt Switch. Beautiful, man. You'd love to see no Nidal Queen, honestly. I can't believe it, though, to be honest. Like, that's very shocking to me. But yeah, now we just get a KO. Now we just get a KO with Volt Switch. Um, unless they go Sylveon, of course. Um, who can tank Volt Switches. We are running out of time, though, so we do need to play a little faster. She does stay in. Are you a Salt Vest? We don't know. It doesn't matter. You're dead. Um, so I think... I, I think now I go Cinderace? And just threaten things. Um... Yeah, I think now... Oh, do I take Poison Chip? I hope I don't. No, let me go Licky Licky, for actually. Let me go Licky Licky, then Heal Bell. I think I'll Wish, then... No, I'll Heal Bell, then Wish. And then... If she goes Tornadus, hopefully I will... Uh... Live one. I don't think I'm Spadef. I have a little bit of Spadef. I have enough Spadef to live... Hopefully Tornadus attacks. We didn't see... She's not Life Orb. That much we know. We're gonna assume Boots. So, yeah. Superpower is a 2 KO. If she's not physically... Okay, so Body Slam's doing damage there. Okay. So, we got rid of her Heal Bell. So, I may just stay in and click Body Slam. <gasps> this thing. My weakness. Okay. Well, it's probably gonna get its rocks up, which is gonna be very unfortunate for Cinderace. Um, so I want to just Toxic this thing. Stone Edge. This isn't doing damage. That did kind of damage. We still have our lefties, right? And it's Life Orb. Okay, that's good to know. We still have our um, lefties, I think. So I'm just going to Wish. Uh, actually, I should Heal Bell, right? Because we'll get knocked... No, we won't. We won't get knocked out by another Stone Edge, I don't think. Uh, let me just wish. I think I wish into Dragapult, I think? Question mark? Stone Edge probably does a lot to me. I guess I could Calc it. He does Stone Edge again. Or she does Stone Edge again. Uh, it's doing damage. We did click Wish. We don't have Protect, though. So who's eating this? What is this thing called? Aerodactyl? Aerodactyl. Offensive... Life Orb. Stone Edge is doing damage to... Uh, Dragapult. Stone Edge is doing damage to Dragapult. Oh my god, yeah. Rotom Mo is the sack, unfortunately. I think I have to sack Rotom. Yeah, I think I sack Rotom. And then, uh... Because this thing's way too... No, it's not important, actually. I think either way, I, I, I waste... I think either way, I waste a Stone Edge. I mean, I waste a Wish. I think either way, I just wasted a Wish. So I should have Heal Belled there. Unless she misses. But she should probably just go for the Neutral Crunch. Crunch makes more sense here. Instead of risking the Stone Edge miss. Earthquake! <laughs> Let's go! Didn't even predict that. Wasn't even a predicting. I assumed... I assumed... I assumed an, uh, uh, a crunch. A crunch made way more sense in my opinion there. But now, unless she just wants to get up rocks, we get the freest Volt Switch. So she could get up rocks um, as a like... Nope, goes to the Stone Edge. This should knock me out. Let's go. Though, if you look at Rotom Mo, just living. Living attacks, honestly. You'd love to see the Rotom Mo putting in work. <laughs> Alright, so now... Sylveon... Sylveon Tornadus... Sylveon, Tornadus, Copperage. So, obviously, obviously, Go Tanks is our end game here. I think now I go Licky Licky. And then try and get a Heal Bell off, basically, is what I'm going to try to do. 
Basically, if she goes Tornadus, we're banking on a Hurricane Miss. If she goes Sylveon, we're banking that we're faster. If she goes Copperage, we know we're faster. And that's basically that. She does go for Copperage. So we are fast though. So she is going to let us get up a Heal Bell, which is beautiful. Um, she could get up her Steel Stealth Rocks, which would be unfortunate. I would like a Wish here, actually. It would be nice. A Wish would actually... Okay, so I wish here, she knocks me out, I go Cinderace, at the end of the next turn, she will hit me, but I will gain HP back. So maybe the wish is better than the heal bell? Um, yeah, maybe the wish is better than the heal bell. Let's wish. I still have Rotom too. Iron Head should knock me out. Ooh, imagine it didn't. Okay, actually, we don't go go tanks. We go Rotom and burn it. We go Rotom and we burn it. The only problem is I don't want to Volt Switch with Rotom. Um, we go Rotom and we burn it. Hopefully, she's not Lumberry. We saw no item whatsoever so far. But we do have to play a lot faster now. She should G-Max, in my opinion. Because um, I don't think Burnt Iron Head is doing it. But if she's Lumberry, then she got me. She does G-Max. Okay, okay, okay. She might have Max Flare, and if she has Max Flare, then hey, that's just setting up for Cinderace, if you ask me. I also don't know if the Wish gets stored. If the Wish gets stored, then I'm glad I Wish, but if it doesn't get stored, then I should have Heal Belt. But, like I said, man, it is what it is. We're just gonna, we're just gonna Will-O-Wisp this thing. Damn, she really didn't bring any of the threats. No Haxorus and no freaking Nidal Queen. Alright, Lumberry? No Lumberry! You'd love to see that. Oh, uh, she does set the Steel Stealth Rocks, which is unfortunate. Are we living? We're living! Okay, so I, like I said before, I still don't want to... Um... I still don't want to... Uh... Go out into... Um... Cinderace here, I don't think. Yeah, I need to get a free switch into Cinderace. So I think so I just Leaf Storm here. I'm just gonna spam Leaf Storm. I wish I had Thunderbolt, I would just spam that. Oh, or I wish I was slower somehow. She did go for the max Nukel, which is cool. Knock me out, go for it. Oh man, I'm just gonna spam Leaf Storm. I got boots, right? I'm pretty sure I got boots. Oh, I could I could defog. I guess I could defog. Maybe on the last turn I'll defog. Because maybe maybe my rocks don't really help. Unless the Tornadus is not boots. But I'm assuming it's boots. Like, we kind of got to assume it's boots, right? At this point. Max Rockfall. Okay. Did we live that? We are living. Okay, now I think I defog. I really don't care. Wait, like, how much do I take from Steel Stealth Rocks with Cinderace? Like, I resist, right? Eh. Eh. Maybe I should defog, but maybe I shouldn't. Like, who's still alive? Like, we got Cinderace, Dragapult. I think Dragapult... Honestly, I, I think, like, I literally think just... I literally think Dragapult's, uh... Dragapult's Thunderbolt can just win from here, so... I'm cool with just getting chip. Iron Head. Okay. This might not even knock me out. Oh, it did. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Um, I think we just go Cinderace and just win. I think. I think we just go Cinderace and win. Um, I'm going to see how much damage I take from the Steel Stealth Rocks. We took little damage, right? So we're at 132. Or outside of outside of Dynamax, we're at 132. Um, obviously, G Max Fireball is doing it, but I want the speed boost, <laughs> and I want this thing to hit me. <laughs> so we're actually going to max airstream. Um, yeah, we're gonna max airstream. Okay, she stays in. Hopefully, she hit me. 
Hopefully she hit me with Earthquake. Hopefully I'm G-Max. Okay, we are. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That was close. That was close. Almost thought we, I almost thought we weren't for a second there. But I think Cinderace might have this, especially if she activates my weakness policy. Um, is Volcanion still alive? I don't think it is. I think we Volt Switched it. But yeah, we wanted the speed boost for the Tornadus. And she Stone Edges. No crits. No crits. Activate the weakness policy. That's That'll be it. That'll have to be it. Oh, it's Sylveon as the last one. Yeah, that'll be it. Bowing us landing a uh, Pyroball, I suppose. Knock on wood, am I right? All right, I'd love to see that. Now we get to go for the G-Max, and we finally get to use G-Max Cinderace, man. I could go for the Max Knuckle. I don't need to. I'm just going to go for the Fireball a few times. you will love to see that, man. Honestly, don't think I needed it. I really don't think I needed the Weakness Policy Boost. But look at this animation. Damage. Because I think, I think both things just get knocked by it. Tornadus gets O-Code, especially at plus two. Um, unless he was just, like, mad defensive. But I should live. Both things of tick. That's doing damage, though. All right, Sylveon dies, Tornadus dies. This is fun. Gotenks gets three KOs. It looks like I don't want to. I don't like calling it too early, guys. But I'm on, I'm almost like 100% guaranteed. Like, you know what I mean? If Tornadus is sashed, the rocks break it. If it's boots, Powerball Okos it. So like, we're not really worried here. She can run Calx if she wants. I don't think it's worth. Sends out Star. This should knock you out, brother. G-Max Fireball. Ball. We only needed one Airstream for the Tornadus. I had Sucker Punch on this set before U-Turn. I'm actually glad I kept U-Turn because that really allowed us to just keep clicking U-Turn in front of uh, the threats. Or in front of not, in front of the... Yeah, in front of the threats. Sandstorm subsided. Beautiful. So now we're only taking Toxic Chip. And barring it having Protect, I think we'll be good here. And we still have three alive? Three alive, I think. Alright, let's see. Was it Boots? Was it Boots the whole time? It was. It was Boots the whole time. Alright, well, I guess that's okay then. Still glad I got him up. So now we just fire off the freest of Pyro Balls. And my boy Goat Tanks just closes the game here. Let's go. Look at the animation. Uh, hit him with it. Hit him with it. Ah. You'd love to see that. Nato. Uh, it was a good, good, good. Why can I not type GG's? GG's. Great game. That's what GG's stand for. Oh, very sc I'm so, I'm honest, like, I would love to get an interview with her, but last time we asked, she said no. So I'm going to ask again, but I don't think we're going to, but mainly because I just want to know the thinking process behind not bringing the threats. I was so scared of Haxorus and uh, Niddle Queen. Like, genuinely, I thought they just won. But shout out to, uh, shout out to Ham Sandwich. Got to U-Turn. Shout out to U-Turn and Gotenks. Shout out to Rotomo, the unspoken MVP. Honestly, Rotomo got freaking bopped. By like first impression Haxorus and just Sludge Sludge Wave uh Nidal Queen. So I'm very surprised that uh that Rodan put in as much work as it did, and it was only because she didn't bring the threats. But um yeah, man, that was such a great battle. Um I'm gonna get up out of here, but make sure you go check out SV's channel, link to her link to her channel in the description down below, as well as all the other as well as all the other um Coaches in the UPA, gotta remember it's the UPA. But with that being said, if y'all like what's on us, you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And if we get an interview in, it'll be in the link in the description down below. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Oh shit, we're still recording. <laughs>